everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and this week's featured read aloud is It's Not All Rainbows, written by Jessica Vaughn and her Ebner. So for this featured read aloud, even though it looks like it's all about rainbows and unicorns and happiness, it's actually a book about how it's okay to not be okay all the time. My friends, have you ever felt that before, like a time where you had to be happy, where maybe you didn't actually feel happy inside, but you felt like, eh, I just gotta look happy and be happy because I think that's what people want me to feel like right now. That can kind of be tiring to do, right? And maybe sometimes you're smiling and being happy to be like kind to someone else to make them feel good too, but make sure, friends, that you're not doing that all the time and that you're taking care of yourself too and what you're feeling inside. Now this week's featured read aloud is going to be exploring all of that in one of the most fun and colorful ways. So are you ready to begin? Let's get started. The title of this week's featured read aloud is Kevin the Unicorn. It's not all rainbows. Written and illustrated by Jessica Vaughn and Edner. And so remember, when there's only one name on the cover, that means that this person wrote all of the words and illustrated all the pictures. So they are the author and the illustrator. They did both. And I just have to tell you, my friends, before we get started, that when I read this book, I immediately loved it right away. It is such a fun story and funny and beautiful to look at with all the colors. So I really think you'll enjoy it. I just had to share that. Now, let's get back to the cover. So taking a look at it, what do you see here? Who do you see here? And what is going on? Yeah, so I see a unicorn and I'm guessing that this must be Kevin the unicorn. It says up here his name is Kevin. And how does Kevin look right now? His appearance. What do you notice about how he looks like? He looks kind of frazzled, if you remember that word from our other read aloud the other week. Frazzled kind of means like all messed up and all over the place, right? His hair kind of looks a little wild. And I'm noticing like some little lines under his eyes. Like I know sometimes in pictures that means you didn't get a lot of sleep. Like you have bags under your eyes. Friends, have you ever had that where you're really tired one day and it looks like you had like little gray bags under your eyes? That usually means you're tired. And it looks like he's maybe got some like patches on his knees and elbows. And how does it look like he's feeling, this Kevin the Unicorn? Yeah, kind of looks like, almost like shocked. Or kind of just like, ugh, it's been a tough day, huh? <laughs> does he look like he's all happy and rainbowy? Not really, right? And what do you notice about the background behind him? Yeah, I see the rainbows over here, but then also there's this big gray rain cloud there and there's rain coming down. So again, it's not all rainbows. Sometimes we have a rainy day. Huh, you know, when you say you have a rainy day, it kind of means like you're having a sad or maybe not so good day. <gasps> Did you notice the little speech bubble coming out of Kevin's mouth? Right here, it's really tiny. And he's saying, wait, what? So it sounds like he's a little confused, like wait, it's not all rainbows all the time? Hmm. Okay, well let's find out what happens to Kevin the Unicorn. Are you ready? Let's begin. Here are what we call the end papers, friends. The end papers are the pages that are like right on the cover of the book. So before I even turn any of the pages, it has these colorful pages here. And it always has some design that goes with the story. And I thought these ones are kind of cute because they're like donuts and stars. Do you like donuts? I do. What kind do you like? Those kinds are good. So here's our title page. It has our title again. It's not all rainbows. And again, the author and illustrator of our book. And here's Kevin, again, the unicorn. Still looking kind of as frazzled as the front. Can you say frazzled, my friends? Frazzled. Can you say frazzled, my friends? Ready? One, two, three. Yes, yeah, so remember, frazzled kind of means like oh, all over the place, not really sure what's going on. And... Right now it looks like he's frowning. Can you show me a frown as big as his? <laughs> Not feeling rainbowy. All right. Everyone knows unicorns are perfect. That's kind of what you think of when you think of a unicorn, huh? They bring glitter and happiness to everything around them. Their smiles alone make rainbows appear. 
So this page seems like it is all rainbows and happiness, huh? Look at those unicorns. How are they feeling? Super happy and smiley, right? They look like everything in their life is perfect. And what in this picture, my friends, gives you a feeling of happiness? Yeah, there's rainbows, there's stars that are smiling with smiley faces, glitter, these happy, happy unicorns. Even the cloud is smiling. <laughs> this one looks kind of wacky. Wow, when you're a unicorn, every day is filled with magical awesomeness. Oh my goodness, friends, this page looks like magical awesomeness. Okay, are you ready? Tell me everything you see here that looks magically awesome. Yeah, I see music like a dance party, more rainbows, and now there's not only smiley stars, but smiley donuts. Even the donuts are happy and smiling. And look at these activities the unicorns are doing. We've got skateboarding and sliding. They make being a unicorn look like a pretty sweet life, huh? Would you want to be a unicorn? Could be kind of fun. It feels like this all the time, right? And here's our friend. And that is how it was for Kevin. Every day filled with magically awesomeness. And he looks pretty happy here, huh? And that is how it was for Kevin. Until. Until. Remember that word? Until makes me think something's going to change. There's a change in our story. Well, if I look at this picture here, does it look like there's some magically awesomeness going on? Not quite right. So, that's how life was for Kevin until the morning he woke up on the floor. Is that a good way to start your day on the floor? No, it kind of looks like he fell out of bed, my friends. Have you ever woken up on the floor? Sometimes it's not a good sign. Something looks a little off with Kevin, huh? This had never happened before. Something felt different. And what do you think Kevin is noticing is different here in the mirror? His hair's kind of wild and all over the place, isn't it? Well, and if you look over here, it looks like there's some pictures of what he's going to try to do to fix it. So my friends, go ahead, tell me, what's going on? How is he going to try to fix his hair? Yeah, he's trying to comb it, blow dry it, using his super perfect hairspray. And <gasps> does it work? Quite. Something was different, but Kevin knew just what to do. Keep it happy, he reminded himself. He's looking at his little picture here that says, Always remember to smile. So something's a little weird, but is Kevin going to let it bother him right now? Nope. He's just going to keep it happy and smile. And so off he goes. He's going out the door. And my friends, look at his wall. Look at all of the inspiring phrases, words, and pictures he has on his wall. And I'll read some of them to you. Ready? So this one says, unicorn starts with you. That's kind of funny because the word unicorn starts with the letter U. But it also starts with like Y-O-U, meaning like you. Unicorn starts with you. And right here he has one that says, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And keep it happy. And sparkle more. So it looks like everything on his wall is like, be happy, sparkle, shiny rainbows, right? Hmm. So, with an extra big smile, Kevin set out for a glittery and fantastic day. And off he goes. And here I see some street signs. They say cheerful and upbeat. Upbeat is another word for happy and cheerful. So we've got upbeat, cheerful, happy. Looks like his house and his world is filled with happy thoughts, right? Sure, his day had started off on the wrong hoof, but... Kevin was sure that he could turn it around. However, there's another one of those words that make me think something's not going to go as planned. There's another one of those words that tell me something's going to happen. However, things do not go as planned. Oh no, my friends, what is going on? What happened? Oh, it looks like three things happened here that aren't so good. First, he ran out of gas. Second, his tire came off and it's starting to rain. Ay, ay, ay. How do you think Kevin's going to feel now? Let's see. Well, he's a little banged up and dirty, but still got a little smile on his face. By the time he got to town, Kevin felt a little 
frazzled. <gasps> There's that word, frazzled. He never had a less than perfect morning before. Keep it happy, though, Kevin told himself. Do you think he's feeling super happy right now, though, on the inside? Probably not, but he's going to try to keep a good attitude. Maybe a glitter soda would get his day back on track. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? Glitter soda. My friends, is there something yummy or a sweet treat you like to eat if you're maybe having a bad day? I like to eat popcorn or ice cream. But when he got to the glitter soda place, oh, holy hoots, he says. Why do you think he said that? What does he see? A very long line, huh? The line was long, but Kevin was sure it would move quickly. There's that good attitude again, keeping it positive, always thinking good thoughts. It didn't, though. And by the time he got to the front, they were out of glitter soda. Oh, how does Kevin feel about that? Probably not too happy, right? But... Keep it happy, he said to himself. And the person at the glitter soda place says, Hey friend, don't worry. I'm going to set you up with a free... <gasps> Ooh, well now he's going to get something free instead. That kind of sounds good, right, my friends? What do you think it's going to be? Mm. Let's see. <gasps> Clam juice! <gasps> Wait, does that look good to you? That doesn't look as good as glitter soda, does it? Mm. Have a sparkly day, says the worker. And Kevin, what do you think Kevin thinks about the clam juice? Yeah, not his favorite, but Kevin kept a smile on his face, even though his insides didn't feel smiley at all. Ugh. So how do you think Kevin's feeling on the inside? Probably pretty frustrated, huh? Grumpy, that's a good word. Not happy, maybe mad they ran out of his juice. But look at his face. Does he still got that smile? But does it look like an actually happy smile? Not really. Look at all the signs behind him, though, my friends. They say, have a happy day. Always be a happy corn. And got smiles. So everything around him is saying, be happy, be happy, don't be sad. Kind of makes it hard for him to really feel how he's feeling. And then, oh, uh-oh, boom, splash. Oh, and what happened to the clam juice? It got spilled all over him. Oh, sorry, are you okay? Says that unicorn friend he bumped into. Totally, says Kevin, feeling happy and fantastic, just like always. I mean, who doesn't want to smell like the ocean? Because he smells like clams, right? And what do you think those seagulls are thinking? Do they like the smell of the ocean? And if they smell it on Kevin, what do you think they're going to do? Poor Kevin, huh? Okay, my friends, do you think he's still going to be happy after this? I don't know. That'll be pretty hard to keep a happy face. Let's see. Wow, there's a lot going on on this page. Well, Kevin continued on his way. And if you see my friends, these little blue marks here, they're kind of like dashed lines. This is going to show us the trail that Kevin takes on his way through his day. Okay, so let's see if you can follow along with me. And we're going to see what Kevin is up to as he walks through this city park. And you can help me tell the story, all right? You ready? So here's Kevin, and he says, Wow, that's a lot of birds. And there's those seagulls following him, right? Because they want the clam juice. And here he goes. Ready? You can even take your finger on the screen if you'd like and try to follow along with me, the blue trail. So he goes through the city park and right here there's a sign that says 84th Annual Pancakes for Happiness. And oh, what happens here? He gets the pancakes and syrup all over him, right? And he says, syrup is very sticky. Oh man. So, after the pancakes, follow me here. He's going here, 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 and oh, there's a cupcake bake-off, and <gasps> what happens at the cupcake bake-off? Oh, cupcakes, he says. All right, let's keep going, though. He's going and going, and 
oh no, what do you think is going to happen here? It says there's a party pit filled with balls. Does he see the balls? Does he see it coming, my friends? Is he looking the right way? It looks like he's going to crash into the balls. He's got balls everywhere. Oh, here's a birthday party. And oh, look at my friends. What is he covered in? He's got pancakes and cupcakes and balls. But look, he's still trying to be cheerful, saying, Happy birthday, Andrew. All right, let's keep going through the park. And oh, no, what are these? Dogs. What do you think is going to happen if he walks by dogs covered in pancakes and syrup and stuff? <gasps> Chased by dogs now, but look what he says. These puppies are so cute. Sounds like Kevin's trying to find something good in every situation he's in, right? Even though, how do you think Kevin must be feeling now? Oh my goodness, if I was him, I would be so frustrated and kind of upset and just plain tired of this day, huh? <sighs> But here he goes, and oh no, trip! Oh, he goes flying, and thud! Uh-oh. So, he just went through all of that, the big trip, he lands on his bottom, and do you think he's still going to be able to keep happy after this? Does he look so happy on this page, my friends? I think that might have been the last straw. And that means, I think that might have been the last thing he could take. Let's see. So here he is. He just landed on his bottom after tripping. And what do you think he's thinking here? And eh, look at his face. You think he's still going to stay happy? Kevin could no longer hide what he was really feeling. So was he really feeling happy all those times? Here it comes, my friends. You ready for his true feelings? <gasps> Today is not awesome or fantastic, and it's definitely not sparkly, Kevin says. It's horrible. This is a really horrible, lousy, awful day. Oh. Those, my friends, are all words that are the opposite of happy, horrible, lousy, awful. All of those words mean very, very, very bad. Try out those words, my friends. I say it, then you say it. Horrible, lousy, awful. So all those words are, again, another way to say very, very bad day. So if you're ever having a bad day, you might say, oh, I'm having a lousy day, or I'm having a pretty awful day. Hmm. And... Kevin definitely did have a pretty lousy day, didn't he? Huh. But he lives in the land of unicorns where everyone's supposed to be happy. What do you think is going to happen now that he's not happy? Let's see. What do you think all the other unicorns are thinking? They're kind of like, that does not look like a happy unicorn. And that looks a little strange since we're in happy unicorn land. Hmm. But then all of a sudden, here's this other unicorn here. And this one is saying, I'm having a bad day too. Wait. This unicorn is also having a bad day? A not so happy rainbow day? Wait a minute. Hold on. Look at all these other unicorns. Let's see what they have to say. There's clam juice on my favorite shirt. So remember, this is the unicorn that he actually bumped into before, huh? And this one says, this has been stuck on my horn for a week, and I've been pretending it's not there. What is this stuck on the horn? A donut. And this unicorn says, there's glitter in my eye. And this one says, there's glitter in both my eyes. Are these unicorns having very happy rainbow days? Not really, huh, my friends? It sounds like they're having pretty lousy days, just like Kevin. But it sounds like they've been feeling not so great for a while. How come, how come they didn't say anything before? This one said he had a donut on his horn for a week and didn't even say anything. He just pretended it wasn't there. Why wouldn't they say something? 
Yeah, you know, maybe because they thought they had to be happy, right? That all the other unicorns were so happy that they had to be happy too. But is that the case, my friends? Do they always have to be happy? Are they okay to feel a little sad and not okay sometimes? I think so. And so wait. Now they all got to share how they're feeling and look at that. How is Kevin feeling right now? Feeling a little better, huh? I actually see, I see a smile on his face, but does this one seem like a fake smile? Like I'm trying to be happy when I'm not smile? No, this smile seems like a, I'm feeling a little better kind of smile. It turns out unicorns don't always have perfect magical days. Huh, just because they're unicorns, they don't have to have perfect days. And you know what? That's okay. The end, my friends. And what is going on in this picture, my friends? Go ahead, tell me what you see. Yes, I see all these unicorns, all the ones who are like, oh, we're not having that great of days. And how are they feeling now, though, if you look at their faces? They look a lot happier, don't they? Huh, they actually have real smiles on their faces. And even though, what is going on over here? Do you see lots of rainbows and sparkly stars and donuts flying around? Uh-uh. What is it? It's a rain cloud. It's raining on them and they feel okay with it, right? Because it's okay to have a bad day sometimes. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel like a rainy day. And as long as you're able to kind of share that with friends and accept how you're feeling and not try to hide it, you actually start to feel a little bit better, huh? All right, my friends, the end. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story about Kevin the Unicorn and exploring our feelings and how it's okay to not always be perfectly happy and magical. My friends, what was your favorite part of this story? Yeah. Well, I really love the pictures in this story, and if you want, you can go back and watch this video again and maybe take a closer look at the pictures because there's a lot of hidden little details and like little signs that say things that we didn't get to talk about all of them. So if you want to go back and look and see and try to find them yourself or with an adult or family member or friend, I recommend that you do that and take a really close look at all these pictures and all the fun things going on. And apart from that, I liked also the page where we follow the pathway to go see Kevin's day. I thought that was really creative. And I just really like the message of this story. That even unicorns that are supposed to be perfect and happy and magical all the time have bad days. And that's fine. Because that means that us, my friends, that you and me and everyone else, it's okay for us to not feel happy sometimes. That's fine. What's important is that you realize that and you think to yourself, hey, I'm not feeling that great today. What can I do to take care of myself? What do I need to help myself feel better? And it's not that I have to feel better so that I feel happy again. Just that I need to know that I'm not happy right now and that's fine. I don't have to be. I can take my time and work through it and do what I need to do until I feel ready again to be happy. Right? All right, my friends, well, this week's craft is all about being able to share your feelings and acknowledge how you're really feeling and to be okay with that. And also, it includes some ideas of what you can do if you're having a day when it's not all rainbows, a day that's not so great. We'll talk about some different activities and some different things you can do to help maybe make you feel better or to help you get through it. Okay, are you ready to check it out? Let's see them. So for this week's craft, we have some unicorn pinwheels, which means that these little wheels behind the unicorn still spin. And this one, my friend says, when it's not all rainbows, I can. And then you can spin the wheel and it has some different ideas of things you can do if you're having a day that's not all rainbows and not so great day. And some ideas are that you can talk to a friend or family member. You can read a book. You can also take some breaths. And you can even go for a walk. And there's six different ideas here. There's also um, a way to make this craft where you can fill in your own ideas if you don't want these examples. There's also this one where it talks about your feelings and you can share how you're feeling for that day. For example, it says, today I feel excited 
or tired, you can feel angry or even happy and that's okay friends. Remember the whole point is that it's okay to not be okay all the time. So go ahead and feel all your feelings and be okay with it and be okay with sharing how you're feeling. So these two different pinwheels, you can find them both either black and white so you can color it in or they both come in a color version too so you can just print, cut and put them together and go. And I'm hoping that these will help you share how you're feeling today, share your feelings and also help you get through some not so rainbowy, maybe not so great days. Alright friends, so if you're interested in these crafts, you can find all the directions and the link to these craft templates on the blog by clicking on those links below. There on the blog you'll also find additional reading resources like questions to ask throughout this story, some vocabulary words to point out, some main themes and ideas. And also on the blog you can find other reading adventures and other craft ideas as well. If you make these own crafts or if you have any questions or comments from me, friends, or want to chat about some reading adventures, then please do reach out to me on social media. You can find me on the blog, my storybook. You can find me here on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. All the social media links can be found down below, so check them out. I love to hear from you and always reply. So to end our video, friends, I know that some of you are at home for a while now. Some schools have closed down because of the virus that's been going around. And I know that sometimes that can give us some feelings of worry or anxiety. And my friends, the best thing to do when you feel like that is to share and to talk to someone about it. Kind of like in that book, Ruby Finds a Worry, that we talked about. And in this book, too, it's okay to feel scared and worried sometimes. It's okay to not be okay. But make sure you share about it with someone because talking about it can help you feel better. So I am at home as well because my school has closed down. And while I'm at home, I'm going to be making some new reading adventures, new interactive read aloud videos so that we can still share stories together. And even though maybe we can't go outside of our house too much, we can go all sorts of places through books. That's an awesome thing about stories. You can go anywhere just by flipping through the pages. Okay, my friends, so I hope you enjoyed this read aloud and I'm looking forward to our next reading adventure. But until then, my friends, happy reading. Thank you.